Hey, Sarah here from BOS, and welcome to the biggest comparison of countertop reverse osmosis systems on YouTube. Today, we are reviewing the 10 most promising and most popular countertop RO systems, which includes professional lab testing that we conducted on each of our 10 systems in order to learn more about their real life contaminant removal capabilities. You ready to dive in? Let's go. First things first, let's introduce our 10 countertop RO models. Let's start with the two AquaTrue units. The AquaTrue Classic, which we've reviewed on this channel before, and the more lightweight AquaTrue Caref. Next, we have the APEC ROCT Plus, the WaterDrop C1H, and the new Aqua 4 stage countertop reverse osmosis system. These three will not only filter your water, they can also dispense steaming hot water. Speaking of hot water, the WaterDrop A1, which has been discussed on this channel before as well, can heat and cool your filtered water. Then we have the Frizz Life WB99C and the Blue View RO100ROPOT, which is highly popular on Amazon right now. Next, the Simpure Y7P, which some of our viewers might recognize from one of our previous videos. And finally, the Crystal Quest Countertop Thunder, which is a little bit different from the rest because it connects directly to a kitchen or bathroom faucet. All right, so with that out of the way, let's quickly get into how we tested and rated our 10 countertop ROs. But before that, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want more content on home water treatment because we can only exist with your support and we really, really appreciate it. Okay, for us, the most important aspect of a countertop reverse osmosis system and any type of water filter really is to make sure that it's actually effective at removing harmful contaminants because what's the point of using a water filter if it does nothing or not much to improve the quality of your water, right? So. One way to go about this is checking each product for official NSF certifications for contaminant reduction. These played a huge factor in our evaluation, but not every product that lacks NSF certifications has to be bad, especially when it comes to reverse osmosis systems. So that's why we've conducted our own lab testing, meaning we took water samples from all 10 filters and sent them to a professional third-party lab for analysis. We also checked for any NSF and other testing that a company may have conducted. Now, in case you don't know what that means, NSF standards can help us determine if a water filter is effective at removing certain contaminants by providing standardized testing methods. So. If a water filter holds an official NSF certification, then you can safely rely on whatever that certification warrants. Aside from NSF certifications, there's what we call NSF testing. Now, NSF testing means a company claims that they had their filter tested against one or more NSF standards, but not directly by the NSF, WQA, or IAPMO, which is why NSF testing and any similar testing needs to be taken with a grain of salt. We also checked each individual filtration process, so the different filter stages and the filter media and methods used. And of course, we also did a taste and odor test of the filtered water. Aside from filtered water quality, the next important factor for rating each countertop RO system was usability. Think initial system setup, including filter priming, refilling each system with water, how fast you can dispense the filtered water, how well the display functioned, provided there was one, and so on. We also performed a pure to drain ratio test. We'll have more on that in a bit. Then came price tag and long-term cost for replacement filters. And finally, all other factors such as maintenance needs, product warranty, any additional features and pros like glass versus plastic tank, filter life indicators, real life TDS monitors, overall looks, and third-party customer reviews. All of these factors have helped us pick four systems that we will recommend for different use cases. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know which countertop RO system we think is the best if contaminant reduction is your number one priority, which model to buy if you're on a slightly lower budget, and which filter to choose if you want different water temperatures. That said, you can check out our full analysis of each of our 10 RO systems, including all lab reports in this Google Sheet, which I'll link in the video description. In other words, everything is fully transparent. Just be warned that the sheet contains a lot of data points. The sheet also contains all the product links and plenty of discount codes, which we'll also add in the description box the way we do. So don't forget to check that out in case you wanna make a purchase and save a few bucks while supporting our channel. All right, so just a few more quick things before we get to our product recommendations. All RO systems and their filter elements were brand new when we took the water sample. So all we did was assemble and prime each system following the provided manufacturer instructions precisely. Once every RO system was set up and ready for testing, we let each system filter one additional gallon of water right before starting the sampling process. This was to prevent TDS creep. 
We also discarded that water and then we filled a single clean bucket with enough of our raw tap water so that we could add a quarter gallon into each RO system and also take the unfiltered water sample. We also wanted to have enough water left in the bucket so that the last one or two RO systems wouldn't get a higher load of contaminants that might have accumulated in the bottom. Before filling each RO system with a measuring cup, we also made sure to stir the water, trying to distribute all of the impurities as evenly as possible. We then added a quarter gallon of untreated tap water into each system, waited for the water to filter through, discarded the first cup of cold water, and finally took the cold water samples directly from each system. We shipped all sampling kits on the same day, by the way, we did not repeat the lab testing for the AquaTrue Classic because we tested this one before on the same water supply. And the same goes for the Water Drop A1, which we had tested on a different water supply. Also, here's a little disclaimer. Remember that with this kind of lab testing, we can only test for the reduction of contaminants that are actually present in our water supply. So for example, one important contaminant that we couldn't test for was chromium-6. Um, and this approach of before versus after lab testing isn't an exact science and you won't get 100% accurate results for several reasons like unequal contaminant distribution and interferences. To perform the taste and odor tests, I labeled a cup for each system and filled them accordingly. I smelled and tasted each of them one after the other and I honestly didn't find a huge difference between any of the systems but I will say that compared to my tap water it was a definite upgrade. So. They all tasted very clean um, and there was no odor to speak of. Regarding our speed test, it's important to know that each system works differently. So you've got to take this test with a grain of salt. I dispensed 12 ounces of water from each system, starting the timer from the moment the water started pouring and stopping the timer when the water hit the 12 ounce line. For the systems with carafes, I marked them at the 12 ounce line to see how fast they would fill to that line. Now some of the systems filter on demand, so naturally they were a lot slower. The AquaTrue countertop RO system was the fastest based on how it works, and the AquaTrue carafe was the slowest. And the Crystal Quest countertop Thunder and Blue Viewo were also pretty slow. All the rest were between 30 and 40 to 50 seconds. I performed a pure to drain ratio test by filling each system to the top and tested how much clean water I could get out. We calculated the pure to drain ratio based on that. We felt this might be closer to reality than what the manufacturers claim, but we have to note that this may not take into account when a system performs auto flushing before or after a filtration cycle. Due to the nature of the product, testing procedures for the Crystal Quest were a little bit different, but we're still confident that the results are pretty accurate. Finally, let's get into our product recommendations. First, the best countertop reverse osmosis system overall. In our opinion, it's the AquaTrue Classic and it's our number one recommendation if your top priority is filtration effectiveness and reducing harmful water contaminants. Our lab testing showed 100% reduction of chlorine, disinfection byproducts, copper, barium, boron, zinc, nitrate, and uranium. Strontium was reduced to 96%, so almost a perfect score as well. For fluoride, we saw a minimum reduction rate of 41%, which seems rather low, but this is owed to the specific testing method used. Essentially, it showed that there was some fluoride left in the water, but couldn't quantify how much exactly. However, that's not a big deal at all because the AquaTrue Classic is NSF certified for fluoride reduction with an average fluoride reduction rate of 93.5%. In other words, you can safely rely on the AquaTrue being highly effective at reducing fluoride in water. Speaking of NSF certifications, the AquaTrue Classic is by far the best in this category of all 10 countertop RO systems. It holds certifications for NSF standards 42, 53, 58 and 401 for more than 80 different water impurities total. Aside from the AquaTrue Carafe, which is like a smaller version of the AquaTrue Classic, none of the other systems can even remotely compete with that. The only minor issue we see with the AquaTrue Classic's lab results is that it showed a tiny amount of aluminum in the filtered water that was not detected in the unfiltered water. Now this doesn't mean that the AquaTrue actually leached aluminum into the water and we haven't repeated the lab testing to double check. Also at 0 0.05 ppm, the aluminum level was well below health guidelines, but it's still something that we wanted to mention. What else is there to say about the AquaTrue Classic? Setup process and filter replacements are easy and self-explanatory. The system is also very straightforward to use. You fill the tap water into the feed tank, you wait, dispense filtered water from the front tank, both tanks are removable, and the water dispensing goes really, really quick. And in fact, our speed test showed that you can dispense 12 ounces of water within four seconds, making the AquaTrue Classic the fastest system. Second fastest system required 27 seconds, so that shows you how fast it was. Our pure to drain ratio test showed that the AquaTrue might produce a little more wastewater than most of the other systems, but still within reasonable limits. Finally, we have a one-year limited product warranty, 
a water shortage reminder and a filter change indicator. So you don't need to worry about that. By the way, filters last about 600 to 1200 gallons. So there isn't much maintenance effort required. As for the cons, some users complained about malfunctioning units. Even ours didn't work at first. Fortunately, a uh, quick Google search revealed that if water gets in the front handle, the system might not start. So we could resolve that issue easily by just simply letting the handle dry. And it hasn't occurred since, even with daily use. Another minor con is that standard water bottles are too large to fit under the spout. And last but not least, costs. The AquaTrue Classic comes at a reasonable price, especially if you use our product link, which qualifies you for a special bundle deal. And plus, you can use our discount code. So essentially, the bundle deal will get you a set of free replacement filters with no strings attached, and it can be combined with our 15% discount code. So make sure to check out the video description below or the Google Sheet if you want to purchase. Once the free filters are used up, the AquaTrue Classic is cheap to maintain at around $100 to $120 yearly. Our next recommendation is for the best budget pick, and it's the Aqua True Carafe. If you use our 15% discount code, you can purchase the Aqua True Carafe for a little under 300 bucks, so that's pretty good. The Aqua True Carafe is also great for people who want a system with a smaller footprint. And plus, we know some people don't like the idea of their filtered RO water sitting in a plastic tank. The Aqua True Carafe collects the clean water in a borosilicate glass container. The lab report for the AquaTrue Carafe showed solid filtration results with all contaminants reduced to 100%, except for strontium at 98%, so almost perfect, boron, 60%, zinc was at 50%, and fluoride at 67%. And again, the report listed low levels of aluminum in the filtered water at 0.04 ppm, so not 100% ideal, but well below health guidelines. And what's more, the AquaTrue Carafe holds the same NSF certifications as the AquaTrue Classic, with more than 70 contaminants tested. Again, this makes both AquaTrue units really stand out from the competition. How about usability? Setting the system up the first time is very easy. Then you simply fill the removable feed tank, put the glass carafe in place that initiates the filtration process. Dispensing is pretty slow, but in our opinion, the carafe has good size for everyday use and the pure to drain ratio is good. So not a whole lot of wastewater with this one. When it comes to replacing filters, you just use the included tool, pretty easy. And of course the filter life indicator will tell you when to replace, so you don't need to worry about that. Filter life is usually between 300 and 600 gallons, so around half of what you get with the AquaTrue Classic. In other words, you'd have to replace filters twice as often, and this also increases replacement filter cost a little bit to around $150 a year, which we still find totally acceptable. Finally, we have two recommendations for people that want a countertop RO system that can also dispense hot water. In this category, we want to recommend the new Aqua four-stage countertop reverse osmosis system and the APEC ROCT+. Both units can provide hot water up to 200 and 203 degrees Fahrenheit, respectively. And of course, both are safeguarded with a child safety lock. Both achieved solid results in our lab testing, with the APEC achieving higher results, removing boron, aluminum, and zinc, but the new Aqua showing a slightly better reduction rate for fluoride. Also, the APEC ROCT Plus only had a TDS reduction of 88%, which is more on the lower end when you consider that the RO membrane was brand new. And by the way, this is one of the few cases where we consider TDS a helpful indicator for filtration effectiveness because RO membranes reject pretty much all salts across the board. Our biggest issue with both the new Aqua system and the APEC ROCT Plus is that they lack NSF certifications for contaminant reduction completely. And as far as we can tell, there wasn't any NSF testing performed either. This isn't a complete deal breaker, especially because we're talking about reverse osmosis systems here, but if filtration effectiveness is your number one priority and you can live without the heating functionality, then we would definitely recommend the AquaTrue Classic or Carafe over the new Aqua and the Apex simply because both AquaTrue units are backed by key NSF certifications, whereas the new Aqua and the Apex are not. When it comes to system setup and replacing filters, the new Aqua and APAC were pretty similar. Although the setup process with the new Aqua differed slightly from what was explained in the manual, both systems are straightforward. Also, both have a removable feed tank of similar size, only the APEX clean water tank is twice as large at around 0.8 gallons. If you want to dispense water, you simply use the new Aqua's display, which feels really nice. It allows you to dispense ambient and hot water, and you can choose between different out settings. The display also shows output water TDS in real time. In our opinion, between the display and the sleek appearance of the system as a whole, it's pretty aesthetically pleasing. The APEC unit also comes with a digital TDS display, but you dispense water using the buttons on top. Little side note, both models take around 30 seconds to dispense 12 ounces of water. Now how about pure to drain ratio? 
In our testing, the new Aqua wasted the lowest amount of water with only about 0.18 gallon wasted per one gallon of filtered water. The Apex wasted about half a gallon for each gallon filtered. Warranty, we've got a one year limited but extendable upon product registration, which might be a good thing because few customers complained about the Apex RSTT Plus malfunctioning. Now, as for the new Aqua, we read about some people being pretty disappointed in customer service, particularly when it came to claiming warranty and canceling their filter subscription service. And finally, both systems come with a filter change indicator. Filters last about a thousand gallons with the APEC. For the new Aqua, it varies between nine months and two years. Yearly replacement cost is very low, between $50 and $70. The initial price tag is pretty similar when you use our 5% discount code for the new Aqua. And unfortunately, we don't have a code for the APEC. Before we conclude this video, we wanted to make an honorable mention, the Blue Viewer RO100 ROPOT, which a lot of people have asked us about. In our lab testing, it could compete with the AquaTrue Classic. It's just that the AquaTrue has all these NSF certifications, as mentioned before, and the Blue Viewer is just about to get its first one. So while the Blue Viewer RO100 ROPOT seems to be a solid product, we definitely prefer the AquaTrue at this point in time. And those are all the countertop RO system recommendations we have for you today. Remember that you can check out our full analysis of all of the systems, including lab reports, in the Google Sheet. Also check the sheet and the description box below if you consider making a purchase. So you're gonna find all of the product links and the discount codes that you're gonna need. And please consider supporting our channel by subscribing and liking this video. You can also let us know in the comments if you yourself have had good or bad experiences with these or other countertop RO systems. You can also let us know which water filters you would like us to review next. Until next time.